Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to check one of the important process and as we all know that 11th standard admission procedure has started and the process is centralized admission procedure. So today we will be checking how to check for demo form registration of 11th centralized admission procedure. So first we'll go to Google and check what is the site for now I am giving you example for Pune. So it is Pune 11th you are having so many options over here. So what we will do Pune dot 11th admissions dot org dot in is the site for centralized admission Pune. Now here once you will go here are the results you can click on 11th admissions dot org dot in and it is Government of Maharashtra School Education and Sports Department 11th Admission Centralized Online Admission Procedure for 2021. Now, here are the options for various regions Napune, Mumbai, Nagpur, Nashik, Aurangabad, etc. We will go and click on Pune region. Once you will click on Pune region, it will be redirecting individually for a separate link or a site which is Pune and Pimpri Chinchwad Municipal Corporation area site. So here now this is these are the credentials available for college registration process but now for students here you can check that mock demo student registration link is available. Here are important announcement notification it is about the admission schedule and gadgets related. Now, if you will click on this notification, you will be directing for timetable or guidelines or any other changes which are related to centralized online admission procedure for this academic year that is 2020, 21. So, now we will click and check what is this mock demo student registration link. Let me tell you all the students and parents that if you have any queries, you can check this helpline number you can send the queries on the mail id which is displayed on the screen which is displayed on the website of government of maharashtra so we will click on now mock demo student registration once i will click on this here it is opening a form which is of student registration now before registration process there are some of the questions which are been asked so these are like applicant school area it is within pmc or pcmc it is like in pune or pcmc area outside uh, of pmc or pcmc or outside of maharashtra state like it is if it is within pmc and pcmc area i will click on it subsequently you can click on the respective sites now after that applicant status it is fresher, repeater or previously passed. Being a new candidate registered registration, you will click on fresher. Then here are the details of your 10th standard or equivalent examination from which board you have given your examination like from SSC, CBSC, ICSC, IP, IGCSC, NIOS or is any other board. So recently as we all are aware that CBSC results has been declared. So I will be clicking for the demo round demo process for CBSC then you have to here enter the applicant personal information what is in the personal information it is about your 10th standard or equivalent examinations which you have given now here you can add for the roll number whatsoever it is like if I say CE120 whatsoever it is so I will be each adding with that it is here I am adding C123 then in which month or year you have given the examination I will be clicking on March or else whatsoever is applicable for you February, March, April whatsoever accordingly you can give it is as you have click on the fresher it is 2020 as the option coming over here name of the applicant appearing intense standard mark sheet or admit card so here you can write down the name of student here I am taking example as and you can add like as whatever it is on your mark sheet like it is your first name on the mark sheet first 
or last name on the mark sheet first accordingly you can add your name over here once you will complete with this it will be asking you about applicant's contact detail here you need to add mobile number let me tell you that mobile number or email id whatsoever you will be adding over here need to be the one which you are checking regularly okay here it is note also available if applicant does not have mobile number or email id then please give parents or relatives mobile number or email id if available so to receive timely communication alerts or updates so the one which is active number mobile number and the one which is active mail id you need to register over here likewise if i am giving any example so you can write down the mobile number which is related with you and here also the mail id which is in concern with you then the next one here i am not adding anything and here then you can go for security question check once you will go for security question check you can select any of the question what is your favorite good game uh, best friend name teacher's name or whatsoever if i am uh, checking here with this that is who is your favorite teacher and then you can check here the security questions answer like if i am adding just a dummy answers over here that is abc here again you need to select a password let me tell you password whatever you are selecting it need to be somewhat friendly but not to be the one which is easily been identified by anyone so you have to use special characters you have to use one capital letter and the spaces and that is uh, the spaces are not accepted over here so you have to use the password which is as directed that is password must be in between 8 to 15 characters long and must have only alphabets and or or numbers that is you need to create a password something with the special characters numbers or alphabets which are which are going to make your password strong one once you will be adding over here you can you can go for confirmation of the password the password you have added over here same password you have to use here also and then you can go for the proce for the process to type with the code which is here available as a character code then you need to type the same code with the same which is been displayed over here whatsoever it is with the numbers and all once you will click on it it will go for registration and then you can click on register so as i have not added this it will come with the errors you have to type with the mobile number then password and you have to confirm it okay so you have to go on the particular cells and fields you have to add those things and then you can register yourself so i will go back and will fill all the important and necessary fields and once i will click on registration this screen will come in front of you with the name of student that is here i have taken the name of student as this you have registered and you have successfully registered and your application id or login id is this so you have to strictly copy this you have to save this and you have to use this as the login id as your application form number for complete admission procedure just whatever the number mobile phone number you have added over here it will be directing you for this application form number or login id number but with the same login id you have to participate into centralized admission procedure and whatever the password you have used while filling the form that will be your password so once you will go for proceed to login you can take the print out of it you have to add your the login id which was just created and accordingly the password which you have used and then you can again login so uh, this is the procedure for registration